Question 11. A resistor of resistance 12 ohms is connected in series with a cell of negligible internal resistance. The power dissipated in the resistor is P. The resistor is replaced with a resistor of resistance 3 ohms. What is the power dissipated in the resistor now? And that would be in terms of P. So in looking here, we would use our power formula. And because we've got V and R, we would use this formula power is equal to V squared over R. So initially, we're going to have um, V squared over, th over 12. And then for the second one, for this would be P1. And then P2 would equal V squared over 3. Now obviously power 2, the power 2 here with the 3 ohm resistor is going to be greater and um, we could write that as um, 4 times v squared over 12 like that. So it's going to, and this over here would be p, so it's going to be d for p. Looking at 12, the electromotive force EMF of a cell is defined as now often with these it's it's best to try and get rid of a few so let's just go through this A we'll come back to A here the force now this EMF although it is an electromotive force it's actually not a force this this name is was was given to it before it was really understood what it was so it's not really a force so we can we can scrub out we can definitely say that this B is not correct. C, the energy supplied by the cell per unit current. Now it's per unit charge, so it's not that. And the potential difference across the terminals of the cell. Now it all depends. If there's a if there's a current flowing through the cell, there may be some internal resistance. So potential difference won't be so just from by process of elimination, it is going to be A. Now let's just check and see that it why that is true. We've got the power supplied per, uh, by the cell per unit current. So look, I'm looking at a power divided by an I, power per unit current. Now power is equal to work over time, and I'm dividing it by I. And as we can see, that I is equal to Q over T, so it's dividing by Q divided by time. When I divide by that, I'm going to invert in time, so it's going to be times Q over T, the T's will cancel and I'm W divided by Q and that is your, your EMF, it's your energy per unit coulomb so A is the correct answer for 12.